Hi there. Um, I was just wondering if uh, if you had any spots available for tonight and tomorrow night. What's your accommodation? Is it a tent or a motel? Uh, uh, sorry, yeah, it's a uh, camper van. And how many people would that be? And I can give you a quote. Uh, j just for one person. All right, well, we'll see you soon. Cheers, thanks. Bye-bye. Well, that's a campsite sorted for Cornwall for two nights. £18. Let's go uh, check out Cornwall. What a lovely spot this was. In the middle of the countryside in Devon. Beera campsite. Beera farm. Is it right to fill up water? Morning. Morning. How'd you um how'd you connect it to the tap? Oh. Sorry for being an idiot. I don't usually stay at camp sites. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that's gonna reach. Thank you. <clears throat> oh no, I've just remembered I've gotta go over the world's narrowest bridge. <laughs> what gear am I in? Fourth probably doesn't doesn't help. Oh my god. Shit! God, this bridge is so narrow. I think I just clipped it. Mary, I'm so sorry. Please say I haven't scratched the side of my van, please. Oh, I haven't. Thank God for that. So, I arrived here last night, had my first night at this campsite, which I have to say is absolutely stunning. The views are incredible. It's got great facilities here. It's eight to nine pounds a night. Showers, toilets, washing up facilities, everything you would ever need, and a great view. If you're wondering why my bed sheets are different, that's because I changed them so now they're nice and clean and just a bit more of a fitting color and kind of matches in with the van. I've got everything set up, toothbrush all over the place. Just made myself a tuna sandwich. Some nice views over there in the distance, the sea over there, and that's where we're gonna go for a walk. Yesterday was kind of a day just to chill out, take it all in, spend another few days alone, although it has been good fun because I met a couple of subscribers at this campsite which is always nice to chat with people to have conversations to hear other people's stories and the reason they're camping and enjoying surrounding areas like this and i've got to say i'm in a much better mental headspace if any of you guys out there who are like me who often and sometimes feel overwhelmed lost lacking purpose stressed anxious or even sometimes depressed today's video sponsor better help is here to help you now i've actually tried therapy over the last few years and i've had a few different therapists who have helped me better help offers licensed therapists who are trained to help and listen to you you can talk to your therapist in private and in an online environment so you don't actually have to physically go and see them there is a broad range of expertise in better helps 20 000 plus network of therapists the starting process is really simple and really easy and then literally within 48 hours you are matched with a therapist that can help you from there you can then schedule video and phone sessions if you don't want to be on camera you can also do it by phone again making yourself feel more comfortable and if you're not even comfortable speaking you can also exchange unlimited messages which are completely confidential i've personally gone through a couple of therapists myself because it always takes a bit of time to find one that you're confident and comfortable with but with better help you can actually change your therapist anytime you like at no additional charge if you guys want to check out better help and use their services and their therapists then i'll leave a link in the top of this video's description or you can head to betterhelp.com forward slash wheels whereabouts to get 10 percent off your first month now it's time to go and get some endorphins going adventure around go for a walk get that seaside breeze in my system and just enjoy a nice coastal walk that guy has now had to reverse twice <laughs> this is the problem with Cornwall, i guess
Would you want to leave this place where we grew up in this old town? Just put it all behind. Remember you and I would always find somewhere to hide when we were kids, so we could see and hear the water run. River's gonna cry when you're gone. Gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. We're just gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. We're just gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. We're just gonna cry when you're pizza on the beach. That will do. Just need to find a dry rock first. Decent pizza. Has anyone ever felt like they don't belong anywhere? Because that's how I feel from time to time, especially all this YouTube and van life stuff. There's no sense of purpose or community or fulfillment I kind of lost my love for travel I think because of YouTube I don't have any urge or desire to go anywhere or explore because I can almost have access to it at any point I think for me personally I don't want to live in the van full time I've realized over these last few days that uh, yeah it's just made me realize what I do and don't want I want to use the van for trips and travels that I'm excited to go on. I don't want to be traveling all the time because it just, the excitement just goes. I want to have things to look forward to and things to get out of bed in the morning and be excited for. I want to use the van as just like a, a catalyst to kind of get away out into nature, come and enjoy moments like this. But if you do it full time, it kind of, takes those special moments away. Who knows what the future holds? Who bloody knows? My first official week of van life has, uh, well, it's been, it's been exactly what I thought it was and exactly what I thought it would be. I knew that I would have moments like this and I knew I, I knew I wasn't going to enjoy it the way that I dreamt I would. I want some routine, I want some structure, and I want to be able to come to places like this and get excited to come to places like this. Look forward to going surfing, spending time with friends, family, meeting new people. But when you can have access to it all the time, and as I said, you do it every day, you lose that desire. We are on the way back home, ladies and gentlemen. Had no idea I'd be going past Stonehenge. So that's pretty cool. 